Hello Naka, welcome to the Times Sports Show here at the Fiji Times. Uh, a lot of sports, uh, sporting events coming up. The Fijian Drew are fine for a sport in the quarterfinals of Super Rugby Pacific. But the big one next week, everyone looking forward to, is uh, the Fiji Finals, the 2024 Fiji Finals, now known as the Coca-Cola Games. And to talk more about it, uh, we have the man himself, the busiest man in the country right now, uh, Mr. Bill Zalati, uh, the Acting Secretary for the Fiji Secondary Schools Athletics Association. Uh, Mr. Zalati, thank you for your time. I know you're a very busy person right now, but uh, we've just got to know that uh, the grandstand tickets for this year's uh, Coke Games have been sold out. 4,000 tickets in total uh, out of that 900, of course, are complimentary tickets. But the 3,100 that, that were up for sale have been sold out. And uh, Master, that's a good uh, sign heading into the Games next week. Yeah, I guess it's a good sign and uh, you know, it, it just goes to show uh, the interest uh, that is out there for, for the Games. Eh? Yeah. Mm. <coughs> uh, there's a bit of uh, commotion uh, in terms of ticket prices, uh, why wasn't it sold on a daily basis, but the tickets that have been sold out, maybe you could uh, elaborate on how, how did you sell them? Yes, um, uh, you know, there, there was a little bit of uh, misunderstanding. Eh? Uh, some people had just uh, maybe got information from here and there, and um, um, this kind of thing always makes the news. So. Uh, and uh, but but uh, fortunately uh, uh, we were um, able to start selling uh, this year. We had to change a little bit you know, from um, how we used to uh, sell our tickets. So this is the first time we tried out. We were trying uh, to go online uh, with the Ticket Max. We signed a deal with Ticket Max to sell all our tickets, and uh, it was surprising. Uh, you know, on the day of the launch, when. Uh, when I was making my way up to the, uh, the launching site, I, I was uh, just talking to the officers of each secondary schools to keep ad updating me. And uh, before I reached the launch uh, site and before the launch itself, um, they were already telling me that they had bookings of more than 2,000 tickets. And these were just for schools. And you know, it was quite worrying to me because uh, we we have to get some for the public as well. Eh? But then uh, this event is for kids, eh? yeah. So it just goes to show how pe you know, people look at the game and how interested they are. Mm. So <coughs> now, for the people watching, the only tickets available to them are the concrete and uh, the grass embankment. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'd recommend to them to get the tickets early since they are on pre-sale as well. I would really recommend that they start uh, buying their uh, concrete and buckman because I think uh, most of them would like to sit there. But the ticket is going. And uh, I can't promise anything because we won't be able to... For this one here, we are not reserving anything for anyone. Mm -hmm. as, as they come, they buy, they, they take it. And uh, I, I, I just want to advise those who are watching this program, if they want to buy, go online and buy it now because otherwise they will be disappointed. Mm. So now, Master, if anything, you know, the tickets being sold out in, in just like two, three days, the grandstand tickets, N nothing new for the Coca-Cola yeah, Games, of yeah. course, it's, it's the case every year. But it goes to show, you know, each and every year, the game just ke keeps on getting bigger and better. Yeah, you know, uh, one of the, you know, when we came in to start, uh, you know, we, we started off last year by doing a review of the whole game, eh? And one of the things that we, we started off with uh, this year was to try and educate all our officials. So as of this year, you will be seeing our officials walking into the ground to officiate. They are all level one officials now. So they are all qualified officials. Now, that's one, uh, which means that uh, that uh, as far as we are concerned we would like uh, we would like to push the game to another level secondly all the zone delegates after our uh, review last year they all agreed that this year we are going to run the game on qualifying standards so for the first time again we are now going to be running the game on qualifying standard maybe the qualifying standard is slow but we are starting from somewhere now so from now onwards, you will see that the standards will keep increasing. As soon as we get to know, we will be consulting all our zone delegates, 18 of them, as soon as they agree that now 100 meters should now, this should be the cut off time. And for the javelin, this should be the cut off distance. Once that happens, 
you will see the whole game will start changing because now you will see quality athletes come in eh? mm. and, and once that happens we, we, we are looking to a brighter future when we do all that. So that's, that's what uh, Fiji Secondary School is moving towards now. And uh, it, it makes it exciting too. Mm. Mm. Another new thing uh, that is being done this year is the, is the qualifying events. Mm. You know, some students, you know, considering the weather, and you know, there's a lot of factors affecting performances. Maybe they are sick on that particular day of their zone. So they do get a second chance of making it to the games, which, which is, uh, I think, a good sign for the athletes. True, you know, uh, when when we were going around training our um, our officials, uh, that was when uh, you know we started talking about the Rugby World Cup in uh, Rugby Union, where the two that came to meet in the finals had lost, mm -hmm. no, and then we were taking that scenario and we were asking ourselves, you know, we were just sitting executive and we said. If, if they can be given a second chance at that level, why aren't we giving it in Fiji? After the uh, in-house, somebody loses in the in-house, that's it. Mm -hmm. And when they come to the zone and if they can't make it, that's it, no? And we are telling them, now you are, you are no good to go, only these people will go. So we, come, we came up with that idea. Actually, we started off with, uh, we agreed to have four qualifiers. And when we informed the Fiji Athletics about the idea, they, they told us, you know, uh, in the world that is what uh, you know, people do. Uh, it's only here that we don't do it. And we said, uh, because we had not been informed uh, by anyone, and we were just uh, comparing ourselves to that situation. So we agreed to have three. The first one was supposed to be happening uh, in the, for the northern, we called it the northern qualifier. Then they called to say that the weather was not uh, on their side. They would prefer if it uh, was moved to Suba. So we said, okay, maybe next year we will come back. So we moved uh, the first qualifier to the, to the HFC stadium. And then the second one happened in Lotoka. And one thing that uh, really you know, uh, got into us uh, when looking into the, when we were there was to see how, uh, you know, how kids reacted when they qualified. You know, we saw kids crying you know, after qualifying and the parents were there. In both cases, the, I, I just saw one or two cases here and in Lotoka. In both cases, the parents were out there to see if their kids could qualify, and they qualified. Mm. So, no, those are, to us, uh, after looking at that uh, and those uh, emotional um, uh, situations, you know, we just want to have uh, more of those kind of things because uh, uh, we believe that uh, students should be given more than one chance, not just uh, another chance. They should be given more than one chance. Mm. And uh, in our case, we gave them two. And in the second one, people still qualified, and that was the whole reason why we had mm. that. Yeah. There'll be some interesting stories to read if yes. some of these uh, athletes go and mm. do actually win some medals at the yeah. games. Uh, but looking at the results from the zones, uh, it's quite. You know, the medals that have been won, the times and uh, the distances that have been recorded, for sure this is going to be a very competitive and a close game. Yeah, as I've said, because. Uh, you know, uh, again, um, you know, this, uh, these athletes that are coming to the Fiji final this year, they, they already know that uh, their, their game will not stop after the Fiji finals because this Fiji final now is a platform for us to pick our national team for the first time. So we are going to pick a national Fiji secondary school team that will represent us into the Oceania Games. That's the direction that we are pushing this into. So after the Oceania Games, then we would like the top, the top, when I say the top, it is going to be really the top. And uh, they will have to qualify if they want to be in the top. And we are looking at just about five or six, five or six top athletes. We would like to take these five or, five or six athletes across to the Queensland schools uh, competition. Now, the reason why we are doing that, this is, this is why. We would like to start collecting our top, and within these four years, we want to have four sets of top athletes. And if, if for example, we, we happen to have six, so six times four, six fours will be about 24. Oh. Right. We would like to take those 24 across to our Pacific Games. Mm. We want to win 
all the way. I mean, not just win here, mm. for the nation as well. It's important for us to understand. I mean, uh, we, we have made uh, every executive at the secondary school to understand that we are not just running this for the sake of running it, no. We are running this for the sake of the nation as well. Mm, so at the end of all this, we want uh, Fiji as well to benefit from mm. what we're doing. Eh? And that's, that's the pathway that we are now going. Mm, there is uh, something new, like you mentioned. And that's the question we have been asking, the media has been asking, what's it for the athletes after the Cold Games? Because every year what we have seen is from the Inter House, it is to the Zones <coughs> and for, to the Coca-Cola Games. A lot of athletes get the limelight at the Cold Games. And then later on, like a few years after the Cold Games, you, you just don't hear the names anymore. And I think that is something good for the athletes to look forward to as well. Uh, mm. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's so many things that uh, we've planned to do. One of the limiting factors that we have is uh, to finance it. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, athletics is a very costly event. Just to just to run the game itself, uh, we've had a, we we have a budget of more than two hundred thousand dollars just to run this game, and it's just a, a day. I mean, three days a game, and it's so costly. And just imagine after that, we have to get our squad, and. Uh, and we would like to have this squad for at least a, a week or so just to, to keep them in shape. And then from there, we, we would like to take them across to Australia. Uh, all those cost a lot of money. And uh, yes, I think uh, there is now a clear pathway for students. Mm -hmm. And we would like every child in Fiji to know that they come through the primary athletics. They come to the secondary school athletics. And we have a pathway for them to go into the national teams. And from there, who knows, they, they will be knocking into, into doors which uh, you know, can uh, take them to a brighter future as well. All right, thank you for your time, Master. I no. know you have a few things to attend to, but we'll be speaking more uh, coming, uh, in the coming week ahead of the Games. Well, there you go, grandstand tickets sold out. Everyone looking forward to the 2024 Coca-Cola Games. They'll be held from next week, Thursday to Saturday at the HFC Bank Stadium in Suva. Remember to get your tickets in case you miss out, you're watching from the Outer Islands. Remember, we'll be getting you the latest updates up to the Games and from the Games. So remember to grab a copy of the Fiji Times and uh, stay logged on to our Facebook, Twitter, and all our social media handles. Till we meet again, Nisa Mode.